Dan, you still played with Zimmer tonight, but you also got to play with Trent a little bit. How was that? You know, a different line, different look, even with Max down there? Yeah, it was an easy transition. I mean, anytime you just play with a guy like Trent, um, it's pretty easy. He's an easy guy to play with. Uh, he's a big force out there and he moves the puck well, uh, protects the puck. So, um, yeah, like I said, he's an easy transition. He's a great player, and it's uh, nice to play with those two guys. Look, when you've got a, a week like you had where coach is stressing competition, one-on-one -on -one battles, did you see what you thought you'd see out of, out of your guys picking that up a little bit tonight? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think that part of the game uh, can always get better, and I think practicing like that, uh, you know, is only going to help us in the long run. Um, you, know, the, you know, that's how the game is, those 50-50 puck battles. You know, I'd say, you know, 85-plus, you know, the game is, is those battles. So, you know, we're good on that. You know, in those areas, we're going to, you know, see the results we want. And Dan, it looked like you wanted one of those on, on the goal you helped set up on the wall. Mm -hmm. Is that just, you know, you went in there, looked like there were two guys there, you went in there hard and, and got the puck free. Yeah. Uh, can you describe kind of what happened there? Yeah, we had a good four check. Coach has been on us all week, like, uh, like Luke said, um, stressing that uh, compete level and being aggressive and causing turnover. So I just went on the four check hard and uh, caused a turnover. And uh, that was a great play by Trent to get over to Max. Uh, Luke, there's a couple goals they scored tonight kind of right in front of the slap. There was also a lot of good defensive plays getting sticks and lanes. How do you think the forward who were in the defensive zone tonight as a whole? Um, you know, obviously those two two bad bounces, you know, we put the puck in our own net, but, um, you know, defensive zone, we're always working to get better than that, and I think forwards take it upon, you know, themselves to, to be plus players, you know, along with the D. So, um, you know, we never want to give up any goals, but, uh, you know, I think uh, throughout the year, you know, it's still early, we're definitely – you know, we're going to tighten up that uh, D zone and, you know, get pucks out quicker to, uh, you know, to possess in the offensive zone. Todd? Luke, did it, did it feel like the game really just wasn't going your way in the first few minutes? And it just took, took a while to get, to get some flow going, it seemed like. And, and do, you, do you have any, you know, really way of describing what happened there? Yeah, I think it took, uh, you know, our group a little bit to get going. I thought we definitely, you know, as the game went on, we got better. But... Uh, you know, that's hockey. Um, you know, some nights you're going to have slow starts, and it's just how you, you know, how you react to that and how you come back. And I thought, uh, you know, the guys did a good job. Um, you know, everyone was supportive, and, you know, on the same game plan in the locker room. And, you know, I thought, uh, you know, we did, did a good job in the second and third, and, you know, we got the win. So that's, uh, you know, that's all that matters. Bobby, is there something specific you guys need to do to avoid that sluggish start? You know, I think we just got to have, you know, a better start. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty simple. You know, we just got to, be hard right off that first draw and, you know, get pucks behind them and, um, you know, play our game right off the bat. Um, you know, if we can do that, then I don't think, uh, you know, there's any, any teams that can, can handle us when we're playing our best like that. I think we got to take the, uh, the game to them more. I feel like we're starting off slow because we're kind of dipping our toe in the water and kind of letting the game come to us. Um, and coach has kind of talked about that, uh, making sure we're ready to go off the hop and um, taking the play to them and dictating rather than letting them dictate. So um, we can definitely work on that. Uh, Look, you've been on the other side of this, these kind of games with the USA team. You, you know how much pride there is in that other locker room, but to, to lose as, as bad as they did last weekend, you, you had to know that there was going to be some fire out of them tonight, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, like you said, two years ago I was, you know, sitting in their shoes and you know, playing here in Wisconsin, and um, you know it, it's exciting. Um, you know they're fun games. You know being 17, playing college, you know playing college guys. Not many guys are you know do that you know at their age. So um, you know it was definitely you know we knew they were going to come out strong. You know they're a great uh, great team and great players on that team. And um, you know it was a rough weekend for them. You know in Minnesota, and uh, you know I thought they you know came out strong tonight and gave us a good battle.